We'll get started. Today's theme, well, not theme, today's combo, I'm calling it Can Can, because it's kind of like a Can Can. But if you're thinking I can't Can Can, you got to think that you can Can Can. It'll be fine. It's not even a real Can Can. It's just a little move. Let's march in place on the right, right. We'll warm up first, as per usual. We'll step and lunge side to side for eight, seven, six, five. Let's mix it up. Next, double lunge, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back to single lunge, four, three, two, double lunge, two, and one, single, single, double, single, single, and double, single, single, double, mix it up, it's okay, right, hamstring curls, step and curl, try to kick your butt, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Double curl, four, three, two, one, back to single curl, four, three, two, double curl, two, one, single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double, one more time, single, single, double, Tap it out. Add shoulder roll, four, three. Elbow roll, four, three. Roll your arms, four, three. Reach over your head, four, three. Punch forward, four, three. Punch across your chest and twist, four, three. Punch it up, four, three. Punch it down, four, three. Punch across for two. Punch it up for two. Punch it down for two. Punch across. Swing those arms, four, three. Now we'll pivot to the right. Tap your toe, dig your heel, swing your arms. For two, shift your weight back to your left foot. Back is flat, press down your chest and tap the right foot. Four, three. Side to side, four, three. Plant your foot, take a big step back with your left foot, push your heel to the floor. Lunging forward, fingers lace, palms turned out. Let's slide our shoulder blades apart. Rocking forward. Stretching the calf, opening the hip. Four, three. Next. Give me heel raise with that back heel. Lift and lower. Reach and pull up and down. Keep it going. Four, three, two. Hip flexor stretch will bend the back knee in. We'll curl the tailbone under. Tilt your pelvis, scoop your abs, flex your arms. Keep it going. Four, three, two. Hold that knee in for quad stretch out of side raise. For four, three, two. Hold it down. And left arm tricep stretch, reach over your shoulder. Stack your spine, lift your rib cage. Pull back on that elbow. Let's shake it out. Let's face the front. We'll march it left. Four, three, step touch. Tap it out. Add shoulder roll. Elbow roll next. Roll the arm. Reach over your head, punch it forward, punch across and twist, punch it up, punch it down, punch across, swing those arms. This time pivot to the left, tap your toe, dig your heel, swing your arms for two. Shift your weight back to your right foot. The flat back, press down your chest, tap that left foot. Four, three, side to side. 
four, three, plant your foot, take a big step back with your right foot. Lunging forward, roll your shoulders, lace your fingers, press your knuckles down, lift your chest up, and then lock it forward. Press your hip and calf, and, uh, calf here. Let's do a heel raise with that back heel. Lift the heel. Reach, pull. Four, three, two. Hip flexor stretch. We'll bend that back knee in. Curl that tailbone under. Tilting the pelvis, scooping the abs, flexing the arms. Four, three, two. Hold that knee in for quad stretch. We're adding chest fly this time. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and back, cut your elbows together in front. Lower and lift. Inhale, exhale. For four, three, two. We'll hold it down. We'll add right arm tricep stretch, reaching over that shoulder, stacking your spine, lifting your ribcage, breathing and sinking. Shake it out. Grab a quick drink. Right, right. First piece. Step and lift your knee. Step knee. Just like our warm up. Step knee. Step knee. Double knee. Double. Double. Double knee. Four. Three. Two. One. March it out. Right. Next, step and kick in five, six, seven, eight. Step, kick, step, kick. Four, three, back to double knee. Four, three, two, one. Step and kick. Four, three, back to double knee. Now here's the change. That second knee becomes your kick. It'll look like this. Step and kick. Knee and kick. That's your little can-can. Step, knee, and kick. Eight. Seven, knee, kick. It's just like your double knee, but the second knee becomes a kick. Four, three, two, one. March it out. That's the first piece. That's easy. Second piece. We're going to use a lot of building off step touch today. Let's we'll start with single step touch. Okay. Single step touch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I'm gonna lunge it out. Step and lunge. Step and lunge. Lunge. Step lunge. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Step touch. Four, three, two. Step and lunge. Step lunge. Step lunge. Step touch. Step lunge. Step lunge. Step, lunge. March it out. So I'm trying to lead with my right foot each time. So my step touch, touch, my step touch is this on the right, right now. Right, left, right, left. My lunge is this. Right, left. Right, left. Step touch, right, left. Right, left. Step lunge, right, left. March it out. Touch to come back to single step touch. Five, six, seven, eight. So, I'm going to break it down further. One step touch, one lunge. It's like I'm lunging back where I came from. Let's call it step touch, lunge touch. 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 Remember that lunge is not a weight shift. We'll tap out to the side. Step touch, lunge touch. 
lunge touch, lunge touch, lunge touch. Two more times. March it out right. Step touch, lunge touch. All right. Next is heel digs. Regular old heel digs. And four and three looks like this. Step dig, 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 dig. Step and dig, step and dig. Right dig, left dig. Four, three, step touch. Step and touch back. Step, touch, back. Touching back. Again, just a little tap. Just tapping back. Four, three, heel digs. Four, three, two, touch back. Four, three, two, heel digs for two, touch back for two, heel digs for two, touch back. Step and dig, step and touch. Step and dig, step and touch. Step, dig, step, touch. Dig, touch. Right, left, right, left, right. Step, dig, step, touch. Step, dig, step, touch. For eight, dig and touch. Seven, dig and touch. Six, dig and touch. Five, rocket. Four, three, two. March in place on the right, right. Tap once and march it left, left. I'm going to break that down on the left quickly because it's a unilateral thing. You notice the lead didn't change on that one. So we'll change our lead, practice. Step and dig your heel. Left, dig, right, dig. Left, dig, right, dig. Touch it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, step and dig your heel, four, three, two, touch it back, four, three, two, dig your heels for two, touch it back for two, dig your heels for two, touch it back for two, dig your heel, touch it back, step and dig, step and touch, dig it up, touch it back, on a rocket, for four, dig, three, dig, two, Step, touch, left and right. On that left foot beat, we'll practice step, touch, lunge, touch, and five, six, seven, eight. Step, touch, lunge, touch, step, touch, lunge, touch. Step and dig, touch back. Dig and touch back. Step, touch, lunge, touch. Step, touch, lunge, touch. Step, touch, lunge, touch. Step and dig. I gotta switch my lead. Sorry. Come back together. March it right on the right lead. Right. We'll break it down. Back to step, touch, lunge, touch. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, touch, lunge, touch. Touch, touch. Lunge, touch. Four. Or three. Or two. One, step and dig, touch back, up and back, dig and touch, four, three, two, step, touch, lunge, touch, four, three, two, one, step and dig, touch and back, for three, dig and touch, two, Step, touch, lunge, touch, two. Step and dig, touch back. Step, touch, lunge, touch for two. This is the breakdown. Step and dig, touch it back. March it out. That's the piece. Tap and march it left. On that left foot, lead in four. Same thing in three, break it down a little bit. Two. Step, touch, lunge, touch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, lunge, touch. Three, lunge, touch. Two, lunge, touch. One, left foot, step, and dig. Touch back. Dig it, back. Up, and back. 
and rock the bed. Four, dig, touch, three, dig, touch, two, dig, step, touch, lunge, touch, four, three, two, one, step and dig, touch it back, three, two, one, step, touch, lunge, touch. I did the wrong foot, didn't I? I switched it. Don't worry. We'll bring it back on the right. On the right. No. Left. On the left. On the left. In four. In three. In two. Step, touch, lunge, touch. Step and dig your heel. Touch back. Dig and touch and march it out. All right. That's the piece with a tiny adjustment. On my step touch lunge touches, I'm going to zig and zag up. On my step and dig, I'll move it back again. Now, let me show you that moving back part. It looks like this step, dig, step. Wait, hang on. Get my rhythm. It looks like this. Step, dig, step, touch, step, dig, step, touch. See what I did? I'll show you. Now, work in the space you've got. Shrink it if you have to. And don't move forward back if you don't have room to. But what I'm doing, I'm going to slow it down. I step, dig, step, touch. And I shift it back to my dig. Come back on my touch. So I got that little step I built in between my step, dig, touch, back, and shift it back. That moves me backwards. Play with it. Let's see, where are we? I'm on the left right now. So we'll go back to what we were doing before. Then we'll change it to move forward and back. In four, in three. Step, touch, lunge, touch. Step and dig. Tap back and dig. Tap back, lunge, touch. Step and dig and tap and dig and tap, lunge, touch. I think I shifted my feet again. That's okay, come back on the right. You find it better than I do at this point. Step, touch, lunge, touch. Step and dig, touch back, dig, touch back, lunge, touch, move forward. Dig it back. Pick it up. Dig it back. Step, dig, step, tap, dig, and tap. Pick it up and lunge and up. Step and dig. Touch back and dig and march it out on the right. Two pieces. Can can, digs, lunges. Next piece. Let's see, I'm on my right. I told you we do a lot of uh, marching. Step touch. Five, six, seven, eight. Single. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, let's double up our step touch. Now my first little change here, well, let's go ahead and do this couple times in four. Give you a change in a few minutes. In two, single step touch, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and double, four, three, Two and one back to single four three two double two and one now single single double single single double single single double first change I single I single I double single single I double kind of drag the heel single single double drag that heel single single double single single 
double heel, single, single, double heel, single, single, double heel, single, single, double. March it out. So instead of step touch, step touch, it's step touch, step heel. I was going somewhere with this. Not sure where. Let's add on to that. So we'll do our heel. Then we'll do some heel digs in front and some lunges out to the side. That might work. I worked it out last night and I forgot it. It's okay. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Give me two heels in front. Lunge it out. Single, single, and double. Heel digs in front. Lunge it out. Single, single, and double. Grab that heel. Two heels in front. Lunge it out. Single, single, double. Heels, heels, lunge, march it out. That'll work. We'll go with that. Drag the heel, two heels in front, lunge it out. One more tiny change. That double step touch, that Susie. Those two singles. Let's go back to single step touch. Little change. I'm gonna make this a little baby kick. So instead of step touch, step and kick, a tiny kick. Not big kick. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one. Now two kicks. Double. I'm oh, sorry. March it out. I think my leads got messed up. Hold on, let's figure this one out. Tiny kicks, double step touch, two heels, two lunges, and kick. Boom. Double step. Two heels, two lunges, kick it. Double step. Two heels in front, two lunges. And kick it. Double step. Two heels in front. Two lunges out. Double step. Oh, forgot to do my kicks. Sorry. On the right, two kicks. Step, and kick. Double step. Drag the heel. Two heels in front. Lunge it out to the side. Two tiny kicks. Double step. Drag the heel. Two heels in front. Two lunges out. Two tiny kicks, double step, drag the heel, two heels in front, lunge it out, two tiny kicks, double step, drag the heel, two heels in front, and lunge it out, one more time, now two kicks, double step, drag the heel, two heels in front, now lunge it out, two tiny kicks, double step, drag the heel, two heels in front, two, lunge it out, and march it out. Good. That's it. That's all we need. What's the first thing we did? Knee and kick. Knee and kick. Knee and kick. Knee and kick. For four. For three. Two. Step, touch, lunge, touch. Step and heel, touch it back. Step and heel, touch it back. Tiny kicks. Double step. Two heels. Lunge it out. And step. I know I switched my lead in the middle there. So we'll come back on the right. On the right. Can and step lunge, step and heel, touch it back, step and heel, two tiny kicks, double step. Wait a minute, that might be too much. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. On the left, left, 
I don't know. It was late. I was tired. It might not work. I'll take something out if it's too much. Don't worry. In four, we're still moving. Can, can. Knee, kick. Knee. Take it up. Step lunge. Step and dig. Touch it back. Dig and touch. Kick, kick. Hey, it is too much. That's why I was confused. We're going to cut out that heel dig and that lunge out. We'll use those later. On the left, right, on the right. Can, can. Lunge it up. Dig it back. And kick and kick. Can, can. That's it. Zigzag up, step, lunge. Step and dig, touch it back. Step and dig, touch it back. Tiny kicks. Double step. Can, can. Zigzag up, step and lunge. Step and dig, touch it back. Step and dig, touch it back. Tiny kicks. Double step. Can, can. Take it up, step, lunge, touch. Step and dig, touch it back, step and dig, touch it back. Tiny kicks, double step, can, can. Move it up, step, lunge, touch. Step and dig, touch it back, step and dig, touch it back. Tiny kicks, double step, can, can. Take it up, step, touch, lunge, touch. Step and dig, step, touch back, step and dig, step, touch back. Tiny kicks, double step, march it out. That's it, you got it. And you got bonus points for learning something we'll probably use next week. Which was step, dig, step, dig, lunge, and lunge. Bring it down. Step and dig. Lunge it out. Step and dig. Lunge it out and march it on the right. Right. Step touch. Easy. Tap it out. Nice loose arms, cooling it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Take a breath, shake it out. Bring your right foot forward. Take a big step back with your left foot. Keeping your spine stacked and your chest lifted. We're gonna sink down toward the floor. Doing the stretch and opening in your left quads and hip flexors. Inhale, exhale, sink. You have to walk your foot farther back and feel the stretch. Help yourself. We'll come up. We'll shift the weight to the left foot. We'll flex the right foot. We'll inhale, lengthen to the spine. We'll fold from the hip and press the chest toward the thigh. Hamstring stretch. Inhale and exhale, sinking deeper. We'll rise up, plant that right foot, bring the left foot over. Push the right hip out, sway to the left. Bring breath into the right side of the ribs. Expand, inhale, exhale, perhaps sink a little deeper. There we go. Coming back to center, let's bring the left foot forward, the right foot back, long stance, inhale and exhale, sink down, keep that chest, upper body lifted, if you're leaning forward a lot, you're going to lose your stretch in your hip here, so try to stay lifted as much as possible, opening up the hips, stretching the quads, inhaling and exhaling to sink deeper, and then, 
Coming up, pressing back with that left foot forward. Foot is flexed, facing the foot. Inhale, lengthen to your spine. Exhale, folding from the hip crease. Pressing your chest towards your thigh. Hamstring stretch. And then rising back up, planting the left foot, bringing the right foot over, pressing the left hip out, swaying to the right. Using your breath to expand the left side of your rib cage. As you exhale, you might sink a little deeper into your lateral flexion. Rising back up, let's bring the right foot forward. Take a step back to the left, but keeping your feet parallel so your toes are pointing forward. Inhale and exhale to lunge forward on the right leg, feeling stretch in the left calf. So the left leg has to be straight at this point. Your heel is down. Think about actively pressing that back heel into the floor, feeling a nice stretch in the gastrocnemius. And then shortening our stance, softening the knee, and leaning forward, hinging at that ankle joint, shifting the emphasis of our stretch to the deeper muscle of the calf, the soleus. Shake it out. Left foot forward, right foot back, toes pointing straight ahead, hips are square. Inhale, exhale, lunge on the left. Really ground that right heel down. You want to feel the stretch here. The knee is straight. The heel is rounded. Inhale and exhale deeper. Shorten our stance. We'll soften our knee. We'll lean forward. Getting solely a stretch. Let's shake it out. Let's move down to the floor for some of our core work today. Let's I'm going to change my camera a little bit because I'm going to be down here for most of the rest of this. On our backs, we're going to do double leg stretch. I'm going to start deep with transverse abdominis. Now, if you have taken some yoga, you might be familiar with Uddiyana Bandha. That's that core lock. Imagine drawing your abs in and up into your rib cage. So we can't really hold that, but we can activate that to some degree. Try to hold and activate that as we do a double leg stretch. So we're really targeting the core. Because the core is not moving, the core is braced and stable, but that's what these muscles do mostly, is brace us and stabilize us. So working them that way is kind of smart. So, on my back, drawing knees into my chest. Uddiyana Bandha, core lock. Neutral spine. Neutral spine is not pressed into the mat. It's a little bit of an arch in the back. If you want to, you can roll up a towel, put it under your lower back to keep that little bit of arch in your back if you need that. From here, imagine you're wearing a hat, one of those, you know, straw hats with that round brim around the edge. You're going to press that off your head, extending your legs, and then sweep your arms into your sides, drawing knees in. So we extend out. Now the legs higher is easier lower is harder. You're going to work in the range that works for you where you can hold neutral spine. So let's press the hat out. And then angel arms sweeping back in. So it's standing, sweeping in, lengthening out, and sweeping in. Lift that hat, sweep your arms, lift that hat off your head, sweep your arms into your thigh. Eight. And sweep. And seven. Draw those abs in. Uddiyana Banda. Six. Sweep it in. Five. And four more. Almost there. Three. Really activating your core here. For two. And in. And one. And sweep it. Relax your head and neck. Hug your knees in. Rock out your back. Take some nice deep breaths. Next thing we'll do here is a supine side bend. So imagine I'm lying down with my knees bent, my feet on the floor, my arms out to the side. 
So side bend is a lateral flexion. I'm not clapping my arm. I'm flexing my spine, reaching my right hand or left hand, whichever, toward my ankle with spinal flexion. So I'm not flapping my arm. I'm not reaching over, twisting, holding my shoulders up and reaching to the side. A lot of activation here. So with me on your back, knees are bent, arms are out, engage your core, lift your shoulders off the mat, now bring your left hand to your left ankle, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, abs are tight, shoulders up, right hand, right ankle, option, to use your free hand to support the weight of your head. Because your head will get heavy after a while, so you can hold it with your free hand. For four, three, two, left hand, left ankle. Four, three, two, right hand, right ankle. For four, three, two, left hand, left ankle. Two, right hand, right ankle. Two, let's alternate left and right. For four, three, two, and one. Relax it down, relax your head and neck. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, tilt your pelvis, press your lower back into the floor, squeeze your abdominals. Inhale to relax and release. Exhale, squeeze, tilt. Pressure back into the floor. Inhale, release. Exhale, tilt. Inhale, release. Let's do some crisscrosses next. This is like a bicycle crunch. So we're drawing knees into the chest. We can have fingertips behind the head, behind the ears. We can support the weight of the head with the hands, but keep your neck long and don't bring your chin down to your chest. Keep space between your chin and your chest. Let's turn the right shoulder toward the left knee. Extend the left leg out. The right leg out, rather. Higher is easier, lower is harder. We're going to switch it and twist it. Turning side to side for 12, 11. Like to focus on form and range here, keeping in control. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees in. I much prefer personally doing it nice and slow with control versus this. And here's a tidbit for you. We get that exercise from Pilates. And Joseph Pilates didn't call his exercise Pilates. He called it controlology. That's how he looked at it. It wasn't important that he created it. It was important that you had control in it. So keeping in mind controlology as we do our core work, nice to help us stabilize. All right. Let's do one more thing here on our backs. I think we feel like bunches of crunches today. I'm going to mix up my bunches of crunches a bit. So crunches. We're going to do eight center, eight twisting one side, eight the other side, and then eight reverse crunch lifting the hips. Then four center, four each side, four reverse, two, and single. Now, let me go over reverse crunch with you. We're going to be in tabletop legs like this. We're going to scoop and lift. We're not going to swing the legs. We're not going to swing the legs. We're going to scoop and lift. With what? With control. So that's the fourth piece. First piece is crunch this way, then crunch one side, then the other, and then lift. We're going to break it down. Eights, fours, twos, and ones. Bend your knees, plant your feet, you can support your head if you want to. We're crunching up the middle for eight. Seven, six, scoop for five, curl for 
curl for four, three. Next, we're twisting the right shoulder toward the left knee. The leg lift is optional. Come in and out. You can keep your foot down if you want to. I add this option. The leg for four, three, two. Switch sides for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Next, reverse crunch, tabletop knees for eight, seven, six, five. Scoop and curl. Four, lift your sacrum off the floor for three. Next, back to regular crunch. Four, three, two. Twist the right shoulder over for four, three. Two, twist the left shoulder over for four, three, two, reverse crunch for four, scoop the ass, feel the sacrum off the floor for two, regular crunch for two, twist that right shoulder for two, twist that left shoulder for two, reverse crunch for two, one regular crunch, right shoulder twist, left shoulder twist, reverse crunch, regular crunch, right shoulder twist, left shoulder twist, reverse crunch, hug your knees, relax your head and neck, rock out your back, roll your legs in a circle three times one direction, reverse direction, Let's plant our feet a little wider than our hips. Windshield wiper the knees. Breathe deep. Let's roll over onto our bellies for sphinx. Elbows under the shoulders. Hips are melting into the floor. Abdominals and lower back are relaxed. The efforts in your upper body, pressing your elbows down, lifting your chest, pressing your chest forward, feeling a stretch in your abdominals, relaxing and sinking down as the shoulders lift up. Breathe. Relax. Come up to our hands and knees. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. You can always use fists for wrists if it bothers your wrist to have your palms down. Long spine, slide the shoulder blades down. Make space between your ears and shoulders. Inhale, lift your chest and tailbone, looking forward. Exhale, scoop your ass, curling in. Inhale, lift, look forward. Scoop it in. Lift. Scoop. Lift. Scoop. Coming back to neutral spine this time. We'll bring our big toes together. We'll open our knees wide. We'll sink our hips back to our heels and slide our hands forward, floating your forehead down to the mat. Feeling those hips sink back, feeling the length of your spine, the decompression of your vertebrae. A couple of breaths here. Relax and sink. Slowly walking your hands in. Sitting up. Take a moment for the blood to return to your brain. Roll your toes under. Pull back on the balls of your feet. Inhale and exhale to straighten your legs. Inhale and exhale to rise up. Take a little wider than shoulder width stance. We'll take three breaths. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Inhale, lift. Good work. We might do that again next week now that I figured it out. So you can practice it. Just forget about those lunges and heel dig parts that I kicked out at the end. And we'll do that again next week, but we'll break it down more smoothly. But you'll have a head start because you watch this. See ya.